Well, look, I was scruffy. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Assalamu alaikum, people. Assalamu alaikum. This is your boy, Musa Azakar, bringing you flame early in the a.m. Uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Be left in that loop every time your boy drop that content. Uh, shout out to the black YouTube out there, Ticket TV. Car seat on Kwame Brown, the league attorney, J.R. Wisdom, Mr. Palmer. Too raw for sports. Too raw for uh, TV. Uh, Nolia, Magnolia uh, Sports. My man James holding it down in the swamp down there. Make sure y'all subscribe to all these people's uh, YouTube pages. And, you know, there's so much going on right now. Um, I've been heavy with the crime content and it seems, it seems like it's, it's crime every day, different forms of it, um, different motives, different outcomes, serial killers, perfect vendettas, jealousy, envy. You know, all the things that could come about. Um, especially when it's, it's considering murder. Um, there's just a lot going on in this country. And boy, do we need a savior right about now. We need a savior right about now, boy. It's catastrophic and it's turbulent. It's turbulent all day. But uh, let me know what y'all think about this right here, and we're gonna sit back and we're gonna we're gonna cook on. Begin with breaking news in East Lansing, Michigan, where an active shooter situation is unfolding at Michigan State University. In the last hour, University Police confirmed there are multiple injuries and there is a massive manhunt underway right now. You're looking at a live picture there of what's happening at Michigan State. The suspected shooter is on campus and authorities are urging students and faculty to shelter in place. Teresa Witter joins us now from the newsroom with more. Police is they believe there is one shooter and that he is on foot. We also know there are multiple victims being taken to local hospitals right now. I want you to take a look at video of police in tactical gear rushing to the scene there, riding past a long line of ambulances. Now at 7:30 tonight, Dallas time, Michigan State University police issued an alert about a shooting at Berkey Hall. That building houses classrooms and offices for the College of Social Science. It's on the north side of the university. When reporters got to the campus, they saw state troopers holding rifles, telling students to get inside buildings and stay away from windows. 46 minutes after the first alert about that first shooting went out from campus police, they sent out another alert about a second shooting inside IM East. That is a student rec center about a mile from the original shooting site. Police confirmed multiple injuries in that center. This late word just came down from campus police. All activities are canceled at MSU, classes, sporting events for the next 48 hours. Take a listen. It's terrifying, man. It really is. We don't, we don't know what to do at all. We're just listening to the police scanners, hoping for the best. You never think it's going to happen until it actually happens. You know, you think you're safe. And then uh, we all thought we were safe on the, the second floor in the cafeteria, but um, obviously we weren't. We were told to evacuate. We all ran out. It was terrifying. It was pretty scary. Now, Michigan State's campus is large, about eight square miles. That's roughly the same size as the Texas A&M University campus down in College Station. MSU has about 50,000 students, and tonight you know every one of them and every one of their families is feeling so much fear as this unfolds. Again, a shooter still at large more than two and a half hours after the first shots were fired. Yeah, I got this from... Um... I got this from the Detroit Free Press. Uh, it's rather alarming. Suspect is dead. Three killed, five injured in Michigan State shooting. And it's what they know. Yeah, this occurred earlier on this morning or later yesterday, or later in the uh, night, as they were saying. 
Michigan State University was swarmed with police, ambulances, and fear Monday night as an active shooting situation unfolded, with officials reporting three people dead and five others injured. The school was sent an alert at 8.31 p.m. telling the students to run, hide, and fight with a report of shots fired on the school East Lansing campus. <laughs> So it's going to be to get to a point where parents ain't want to send their children to school. After shootings and going on, man. So here's what they know that's going on. In the early morning hours of Tuesday, as the campus had hours before being filled with shouts, sprinting and gunfire fell relatively quiet. Leaders looked at what follows an attack and killings at the place of learning. Mm. Speaking not long before 2 a.m. at the news conference, Interim Michigan State University President uh, Teresa Woodruff said the school will move to emergency operations for two days. The time is intended for, uh, for students, staff, and faculty to think, grieve, and to be together. A day after the shock and heartbreak, we are devastated for our loss of life, she said, our campus is grieves. We will all grieve. We will change over time. We cannot allow this to continue to happen again. Oh, boy. But resources for coping will be accessible starting at 9 a.m. Tuesday at East Lansing Hannon Community Center at 819 Abbott Road, the Lansing State Journal reported. Hmm. The suspect in the Daily Michigan State uh, campus shooting who later died at Lansing location was a 43-year-old man, Michigan State University Interim Deputy Police Chief Chris Rusman said at the news conference about 1.40 a.m. Tuesday on Valentine's Day. Lord, he was not affiliated with the university, Rosman said. And they do not know why he came to the campus at Michigan State University. Uh, Rosman previously said to his knowledge, the school had, had not received any threats in any preceding days. The suspect was alive and contacted by the police before he shot himself. Police said various searches of places related to the suspects are ongoing. The person suspected in Michigan State campus shooting that, that killed three and injured five others are dead, officials said in a news conference after midnight on Tuesday morning. The individual was found off of the East Lansing University campus and appeared to have died of self-inflicted gunshot wounds, Michigan State University Interim Deputy Police Chief Chris Rosman said. Police have been seeking the individual as, as a prior to 11 p.m. news conference and shortly thereafter, release surveillance and images of the individual. Mm. Rosman said there is no longer for a need for community members to shelter in the place. Sad, man. You got to worry about going to school, learning all of them, dodging bullets at the same time. At the same, at the same, at the same time. Boy, that's crazy. It's crazy as hell, man. Y'all leave some comments. Let me know what you think, man. It's It's sad. Real sad. But it's your boy Moose. Do me a favor. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace and Bala Hagris, people. You don't like me because I met the one who would consume you with the spirit of his mouth on the brightness of his coming. I don't represent God will come hell no when you see a black man listen to me good listen listen when you see a black man stand up in the most powerful government on earth and speak as i speak and walk as i walk and live as i live and don't care nothing about that enemy then you ought to know God is not to come. God is already...